I think I remember. I, I, I believe you you met Martin Luther King at one point. You guys had a brief conversation. Is that right? No, that's not right. Okay, I've never confused. met him. I've seen him publicly, right. but I never had a conversation with cool. him. Uh, those leaders, so MLK, uh, Malcolm X, um, you know, like, and you know, everyone else that, that that was part of that. Uh, not only as to who they were, but as to their ability to bring that many people together into, into that vision, you know, overrated or, or, or underrated. The, the impact that they had to get so many people to participate. Right, right. Their strengths as leaders or their charisma as leaders, probably underrated. Um, people like um, Martin Luther King, A. Philip Randolph, Sleeping Car Porters, Malcolm X, had tremendous charisma at that time and could galvanize whole crowds of people. There's a scene in Spike Lee's movie about Malcolm X, and it's played by Denzel Washington. He plays Ma Malcolm X. And I've seen this in Harlem. I saw this similar scenes. Uh, I attended street rallies that Malcolm X would speak at in Harlem on 125th Street and 7th Avenue. But um, his control over the militants of the Nation of Islam, who were called Fruits of Islam, um, telling them to go this way, go that way. And they all, in unison, did whatever he told them. And there's a scene in the book, in the movie, where he's in front of a police captain. They're, they're in front of a peace inc, protesting something, and the police are threatening to take action if they don't get from in front of the <laughs> getting from in front of the precinct. What they don't recognize is they're not talking to a street gang and they don't move. They're not afraid of the police and they sort of say it's, it's almost like um, bring it. But they don't do that. They just stand there and just look straight at the policeman and then the policemen do something that conforms with what they're asking. And then Malcolm X says, all right, turn right, and they all turn right and say, let's move out. And a captain, a white police captain, looks at him and says, that's too much power for any one man to have. Well, so they, he, he, that scene captures the kind of power they had when they were at the height of their own popularity, right? Um, so I've rarely seen that captured. And it's part of the story. In fact, when I was at Lincoln, Malcolm X came, I mean, all the students, about 700 students came to what he, they didn't come to a lot of events that the faculty all wanted us to come to, particularly church vespers on Sunday evening or something, some foolishness. But when Malcolm X came, every, the entire student body came to hear him talk. You know, so. I don't think people recognized the power that they had or the charisma or the draw they had. And people wanted to participate either with the militants in the Nation of Islam with Malcolm X or with Southern Christian Leadership Conference headed by uh, Martin Luther King. People want, or sleeping car porters, union folks, all wanted to participate in changing America and making it more equitable. And they saw these men as leaders.